Okay, this drawing we are looking at uh, 713 from the grade 11 textbook or workbook for HSE. Um, and we have got a hexagonal branch pipe going into a cylindrical main pipe. All right, what we need to do is, well, I would start out, they ask you for a little calculation. Let's do that straight away. Um, I need to work out the circumference for this cylinder, which we're going to use a little bit later. Uh, the formula is circumference is equal to pi multiplied by d. I've just measured off the diameter of my cylinder over here, and I measured 40 millimeters. That will give me a circumference of 125.6 millimeters. Right, write that down, you get marks for it, and you won't lose those marks later, and it'll be quite useful. Right, the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to draw the auxiliary view. They, in their original drawing, they gave you the auxiliary view over here. They didn't give you an auxiliary view over there. Please, I want you to draw that auxiliary view. It just helps with numbering and getting the right distances and all sorts of good stuff like that. Okay, numbering over here. I've got number one, two, three, four, five, and six going in a clockwise direction. Number one, right up at the top. Um, if I pull that down over here, I'll end up with number one. You'll note that I'm going in an anti-clockwise direction over here, two, three, four, five, and six. Over here, number one is situated over there, two, three, four, five, and six. Very important that you've got that little auxiliary view because we are going to use that now. Okay, um, we need to draw the curve of interpenetration in over here. And the way that I need to start out by doing that is first of all, find the center of this, uh, this hexagon. Okay, so I'm just going to draw a construction line going through there and a construction line going across there. And once I've got the center, I'm going to take my 60 degree set square and I'm going to draw a construction line going up over here. And I'm going to draw a construction line going down over here. Breaking these two lines, three and four, four and five, six and one, and two and one. Okay, so in other words, I found those little marks over there, and that's going to help us in order to try and find the curve of interpenetration over there. Okay, easy enough. Um, I'm going to take some lines across to, uh, across over here, five and six going across there. I'm going to take a line going up over here from where five and six are. Remember, I'm standing over here so I can see those lines five and six. I've got this construction line coming up over here. And five and six, you can see where they are going to intersect with the, um, with this cylinder over here. There we go, those two I can extend out and draw those in dark straight away. Okay, there and there. All right, I can see where um, I can see that number one and two, they'll also be on that same line. So one and two, they're also intersecting there and there, except they would be in hidden detail at the back, which we can't see because of the lines five and six that are on top of them. All right, to try and find the curve of interpenetration, I cannot just draw a nice little dark line going up there because that would not be correct. It has a curve over here. How do I find that curve? Well, as I said, I've drawn those lines over there and over there, and I need to do a similar story over here. Let's just find the center over here. Going across there, going across there. Okay, and I need to draw a draw in those lines um, going through the center. So I have a line going from there to there. I'm just going to take a pair of dividers quickly and show you how I'm getting that. All right, I've got those distances over there, four to three, over there, that little distance over there, go over here, and I place that down over there. All right, and on the other side, I've got six to one, that little distance over there in between six and one, Go over here, six to one. Okay, and I have my line that is going to go up between those two points over there. There we go, you can see that. There's the break over there. And the same story on the other side. 
Um, I need to go from five to four, that little thing over there, go to five to four over here, Lock that in there, and I need to go from one to two over here, one to two, let's just straighten my page here, one to two over there, and I can draw in that little line over there. There we go. Okay, um, let's just take this down. Note, these lines over here are at 45 degrees. So I'm going to go to these points over here and I'm going to take a line down at the 45 degrees over there, right? And same story over here, line coming down from those two points that I found over there and those two points over there coming down. Right, let's just label these points. Um, let's call this point between one and two point A. Okay, let's point, let's call the point between six and one B. Let's call this point over here C. Let's call this point over here D. Okay, let's find those points on these lines over here. I've got between one and two, I've got A. There is A between one and two. Uh, between six and one, I have got B. There is B over there. Between five and four, I have got C. And between um, four and three, I have got D. Okay, let's join things up over here. A, I'm going to take a line coming across from points A and D, okay? And you can see where A and D have, inter um, have connected at the cylinder over there. So I've got point A over there and point D at that point. And I'm going to take that up over here. Let's take that up from point A and D over there. And what have I got? I've got point A at that point over there. And I've got point D at that point over there. Um, I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to take a line coming across from point B and C over here intersects with the cylinder and I take that up and you should find that it goes directly over point A and D. There it is going up over there and you end up with point C connecting over there. So I've got point C over there and I have got, um, sorry, point B over here. There's point B over there. All right. Okay, which two numbers can I see at the front? It would be B and C, very important. So I'm going to draw in my curve of interpenetration over here. It goes around through C and up to that point where, um, where number five intersects. And it goes over here from point one going down to where point six intersects. You'll note that I've just used little dots and I can now say, well, that line will definitely be seen as a dark line and I can draw that in using French curves or I can freehand it in like I've just done. And this little curve over here, I can draw in freehand over there or I can use French curves. It is definitely a curve and I've got a line that is going to be a nice dark line going down there. Right, you can see the curve over there, the curve over there. Our next job is to draw the branch pipe and I need to draw the, um, the main pipe. Uh, next video, video, I'll look at doing the branch, the branch pipe.